Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation, much love and respect to Akim out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. I wanted to do a video lambacking off of the elder apostle Gabar's video dealing with uh, the demon dog image that you see in this uh, this picture here. Okay, and this person's name is Joe Martinez, and they took a, f a picture at an in-law's wedding, and in the picture, he saw this demonic face behind him, okay? And sometimes that happens. Sometimes these demons appear in certain photos and things like that, that the naked eye won't be able to see. And um, it appeared, and, and this actually changed his whole life. He changed his life based upon this image, okay? Now, these things are all around. These things are all around us, just like the angels are all around us. Because the scriptures say that uh, the angel of the Lord capeth around them that fear him. So brothers have angels around them at all times, okay? And not only is there angels around, but there's also demonic forces. And this is what the battle is. The battle is really in the spirit. It's really a spiritual battle. And that's the battle that Esau cannot win. And this is why we have to tap more into the spirit rather than the flesh. Because the flesh is really there's no good thing cometh of the fl flesh as the scriptures say it. So that's why we have to stay away from that flesh. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the, you know, the, the, you know, the insatiable spirit that satisfying yourself at all times. Women are into that spirit. We're not supposed to, as men of the Lord, we're not supposed to be in that spirit. Okay, even the, the women that are trying to follow Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, they're not supposed to be of that spirit. We're supposed to be of a, of a different fashion. Okay, when the scriptures speak about um, how they look at us funny because we do not go through the same level of riot and, and, and partying and, and the things that they do, we're not doing that. It's because we're, 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 tap, we're trying to tap into the spirit. We're not focused on the things of the flesh because nothing good comes of the flesh. All right. It can feel good for the moment, but overall, it's not beneficial. Now, I want to start with Ephesians 6 and 10. OK, and that's a that's an eerie picture. Of course, you know, you look at a picture, you see that type of image behind you. Like, oh, shit. You know, but for us, it's, you know, we know these things are around. OK, if the most High opened our eyes to the spirit world right now, <laughs> a lot of people would, would bug out. This is uh, Ephesians 6 and verse 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. This is what we're wrestling against. We're not wrestling against the flesh against spiritual wickedness in high places so when we go out there and we push this word out and we make videos and and we chat down babylon spiritually as benjamin would say this is a spirit this is spiritual fighting this is spiritual warfare okay as the, the scriptures also say that they consume them with the spirit of his mouth he consumed them with the spirit of his mouth. And that's what we're doing. We're consuming them. We're burning them with spiritual fire by pushing these words out, by telling, by speaking the truth, by speaking these prophecies, man. After 2007, when the apostles and elders, you know, went global, you know what? The world started to get exceedingly uh, rapidly worse. And Esau started to fall at a lot faster rate. Now, look, thir 13 years later, or really uh, 14 years later, look, Esau is going hard to establish his, his NWO, and he's in straits. All praises to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. It says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye be not, or that ye be able to withstand in the, the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore with your, having your loins girt with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace 
above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked you see above all get the shield of faith but you make sure you have all those other things as well the gospel you should be preaching the gospel of peace you should you should be about you should be teaching truth which is part of the gospel okay the breast breastplate of righteousness we should be trying to we should be trying to be we should be um we should be trying to become as righteous as possible you see and that's not just based upon keeping the law that's also based upon faith that's an extreme part of being righteous is based upon faith so all these things are spiritual armor is spiritual armor but it's all tied together you see and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of the most high all of this is tied together praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all pre uh, perseverance and supplication for all saints and for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak okay and a and we ought to speak boldly man when we go out there and we push this word out we should speak boldly we shouldn't they don't know the truth we know the truth we're, we're, we're feeding the sheep okay the sheep can't tell us what to do we're telling the sheep what's up you understand the sheep how can the sheep tell us what's up they're they're looking to be led you understand so this is why we're supposed to go out there and, and, and preach boldly and that's part of our sacrifice that's part of our spiritual sacrifice and putting up putting up that spiritual sacrifice puts you in the good graces of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and what will he do he will make you fruitful by doing that he will make you fruitful and therefore you will be stronger in the spirit in the spirit let's tap into the spirit okay <laughs> I keep saying that let's tap into the spirit but it's true okay this is not the time to, to be in party mode this is not party mode this is the time to be in as much as you can whether it's fasting prayer preaching diligence brotherly love we need to we need to double down on all of it not just one of it all of it you see let me get um ephesians the fourth chapter in the 17th verse it says this i i say therefore and testify in the lord that ye henceforth walk not at, as other gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind let's look at this word vanity let's look it up real quick okay it says matiotis matiotis <clears throat> says what is devoid of truth and appropriate and appropriateness <laughs> you know what's appropriate for this time what what manner of person ought ye to be the prophecies doing the work being in the spirit that's appropriate for this time the, the, the you know speaking of spiritual things perverseness depravity frailty want of vigor you know things that are not that that do not lead to life we're not supposed to be speaking about things that do not lead to life we're spoken supposed to be speaking about spiritual things that lead unto life okay that's the point on that If vanity doesn't lead to life gossip and speak you know speaking about what other people are doing and and oh the football game and and this and that and you know those you know those things are it's nonsense okay the, the, whatever challenge they got going on on instagram that's that's vanity you know it, do, it doesn't lead to life it's pointless conversations man this is ephesians 4 and 18 continuing on having the underst understanding darkened 
being alienated from the life of the Most High through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. That's that's flesh, okay? But ye have not so learned Hamashiach. If so be that ye have heard him and been taught by him as the truth in uh, is in Yahushai, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, the fleshly conversations, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust. It's all about the lust of the flesh. That's what those conversations are all about. Okay? Talking about chicks every second. It's all about gals and hoes and, and this and that. And it's really when you talk to people of the world, it's so it's, it's, it actually drains your spirit because they really don't have nothing to speak about. They really, you know, the conversations are so, so void and, and vain that it really just takes from you. So being around them, even in the, I've tried that being in the group, you're in the group with, you know, you know, some Jake's from the world. So, you, you know, you go chill with them Jake's in the world. And when you leave, you're like, ugh, you feel like you just like, like a piece of the spirit will have, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it drains you. Okay. Because why that feeds more into the flesh being around those people and being around the Akin feeds more into the spirit or two or three are gathered in my name. There I am in the midst. And be renewed in your in the spirit of your mind. Why? Through holy conversation, through being around the brothers, through through through, through having spiritual um, thoughts. And that ye put on the new man, which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. So you see the flesh. Don't let the you see when you start getting angry and, 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 and getting these carnal thoughts and that then that's when the that's when Satan could, could enter, man. You see? That's when Satan can enter. It says, Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good. That he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to the use of edifying. That it may minister grace unto the hearers. And this is what we're all about, man. Okay. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of the Most High. Whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor. An evil or clamor that's he's talking too much okay that's not being a you know a person who's in the spirit of, of yapping 24 7 is not really in the spirit okay whereby ye um uh, slacking <clears throat> see and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be ye kind one to another tender hearted all right Forgiving one another, even as the Most High, for Hamashiach's sake, hath forgiven you. End of story. So that's why brothers are not supposed to hold grudges, man. Okay? Because how are you going to hold a grudge when, look at the amount of iniquity, I'll say it, the iniquity that you've committed against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh including myself, man. So we don't have no, no, um, no, we don't have no right to hold a grudge against a brother. You see, even even if I'll, I'll say whatever he did, man, just take the low. The, the most high Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai is the one who forgives at the end. Who the the one who brothers need to fear anyway. You see, um, this is um, this is Matthew twenty six in um, verse verse forty one. It says, "Watch and pray." That ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. You see, so the spirit is much stronger than the flesh. The spiritual realm is much stronger than the flesh. So this is why we have to tap into the spirit rather than the flesh. 
Okay, very important, especially in the times that we're coming into, man. Being all into the flesh is, is that's just gonna make the walk that much harder. It's gonna make that walk that much harder, man, when you're tapped into the flesh. <laughs> you see? You might be able there might be something you can endure, but because you're so into the flesh, it just it just en enhances the the um the suffering that much more. Think about it. You okay, let's say let's say we gotta wait a day or two for food, right? Let's just say hypothetically. A, a day or two, you're not gonna die from a day or two of not eating. But let's see a brother who's been fasting often, and then you got a brother who only fasts on the day of atonement. And even that's a struggle for him. When it's when it comes for that one two days, that one two days is gonna be a lot harder for that brother who was more in the flesh than that brother who's been being spiritual fasting often. You see, because he's not worried about bread at this point. He's not he's not um so into bread. He's not so used to eating bread as that brother, man, because he's been tapping into the spirit. You understand? It's not that it's not that that brother doesn't need as much calories as the other brother. <laughs> but that brother has already been, he's been fortified in the spirit he's been exercised in the spirit and we have to we have to all push to be more exercised in the spirit okay this is John 6 and verse 63 it says it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit, profiteth nothing the words that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life the flesh don't profit, man. The flesh does not profit. Forget about the flesh. The flesh ain't gonna do nothing for you. When these demons, like like this, like this demon right here, these type of demons pop up, and you're all into the flesh, they're gonna they're gonna win. But when you're in the spirit, they can't win, man. They gotta go somewhere else. They gotta they gotta they gotta go somewhere else. You see. You're going to pass those tests that are in front of you if you're tapped into the spirit. If you're tapped into the flesh, it's going to be harder. It's going to be harder. Like the example I just gave you before. Okay? And it's not me who's saying these things. It's y'all by Shem Shai speaking through me to, to put this message out there. To let's tap more into the spirit because the walk will be harder if we're in the flesh. End of story. Okay? This is Luke 21 and 36. It says, Wash ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And in the time, in the day time, he was teaching in the temple. Oh, Salakia. Salakia. So, so it says, Watch therefore, you know, and watch and pray. Okay? Prayer. Prayer is very, very important. The scriptures also says, pray without ceasing. That's, that's part of tapping into the flesh. Are, are you praying? How often are you praying? That's part of tapping into the flesh, Akin. The Lord likes that because that shows what? That shows faith. You don't pray if you don't believe. And it shouldn't be like a chore at the end of all. Oh, I gotta set up this prayer. No, well, I mean, you know, sometimes you don't feel like doing certain things, but it's still a you still believe. You gotta believe when you pray, not wavering, as the scriptures say. All right, and and and, and, and when you tap into the spirit, when you tap into those things, uh, for uh, what's that? Second Peter is the first chapter. When you tap into those things, dealing with the spirit, the Most High will add unto you. And make you fruitful in the spirit. Okay. So with that, give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Dash. Lord willing, the point was made that the spirit is stronger than the flesh, and these demons are coming, and they're attacking. So what we have to do is we have to be tapped into the spirit. 
rather than the flesh. I just want to say this as well. Um, Satan looketh uh, to sift us like wheat. You see? So, <laughs> let's have our defenses up. Alright, so with that I'll say Shalom.